Hello and welcome back to Panda Inc. and subsequently Software Inc. We have a couple of things to talk about. Firstly, these project management tasks that we've got set up right now aren't really serving us particularly well. We have a look, we're getting great quality on Panda Guard, which is okay, but when we're playing in impossible mode, it's really cutting into our bottom line, I think. And I think I would prefer to take a little bit more of a proactive step to increase that quality and hopefully increase our sales. So we're going to be doing some, we're gonna be doing a lot of things right now, actually. The first thing that I wanna do is I immediately wanna get Chubby Panda trained up in at least the first stage of HR. That is because we're about to get some complaints. And the reason that we're about to get some complaints is because I am going to be disbanding the accounting team for the moment. So we're gonna come in here and fire all three of these people, mostly just because we aren't currently making a lot of money. So they are sort of sitting around doing a whole lot of not much and costing us a fair amount of money. So we will go ahead and disband that team. Then we'll come into each of these teams here set up HR management to handle wages and complaints. We won't change roles. We'll also set up education level just to get that started. We'll just have one go at a time. I don't actually know how many of our HR leaders can do that right now, but that is what we're gonna do. Then, I'm gonna come into build mode real quick. And I would like to repurpose the accounting team's room. So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger to start with. I think about there is where I need it. And we're gonna make this a lot more cramped to fit in eight people in this room. Because that's how many people I want on my marketing team. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick and we will be back in just a second. Okay, now that room's all done and dusted. We should be fine on temperature and everything else. We just do need a little bit more light in here now, which is fine. We can go ahead and add that in without too much drama. That should do us nicely. Perfect. Bring those walls back down and go back into build mode for a minute. Actually, we'll stay in build mode. Switch this team to our new team. Whoops wrong button. This is going to be our marketing team. And to get us started with that, we are also going to need to move those people around. So we have some marketing people on our development teams right now. I'm going to move them over to be their own separate team just because this system wasn't really working so well for me and I would like to maybe expand those teams in the future. So. This will give us some more seats. So we'll just move everyone that's good at service, which is all our marketing people, into our new marketing team. And we'll do the same for our 2D team. Change them to marketing. And the reason we've got, I think we've got nine chairs in that room, but we're only gonna use eight for now. We're gonna hire one more employee. This is going to be our leader. They're going to be secondary service. Hopefully we can get someone who can at least do marketing a little bit. We're gonna go want HR, socialization and multitasking. We'll have a look here. We have our first person is good at HR socialization and has two stars in marketing, which is perfect. This person also has, I think I would rather someone who can do programming on the side personally, but they are going to want $17,000 a month, which is a little bit crazy. Uh, that's a little bit nuts, actually. Let's quickly just have a look and see if we can get someone medium who can do the same job for us. Someone who can do some marketing. This person's not bad. HR and socialization, they don't have any multitasking, but that's fine. I think we're gonna go with them. They're only 11,000 instead, which is still hurts, but it's better. We go in here, manage our team, manage our roles. They can do secondary designing and programming, but their main job is a leader and service. Perfect. Uh, actually, 
let me change that. Let's take them off both of these and put them secondary service so they do leading things first. Maybe that'll mean they'll do meetings before anything else. That would be fantastic. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what we're gonna go with. So now we have four teams. Antivirus team has six people, support has three, marketing has eight, and 2D team has nine. I think that will serve us a little bit better. We do need to come back into build mode and just replace these phones. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'll be back in a sec. With that done, the last thing we need to do in here is go ahead and select our entire building and one of these computers. Select all the computers in the office and unassign them. And then we'll go back in and just reassign our leaders to their computers because sometimes they decide to go somewhere else. <laughs> they decide to come and work in this room and then it tells me that the requirements aren't being met. So that should be that. We're going back into play mode. We're now going to organize our automation tasks. So this will be for Panda Guard run by Chubby Panda. We're not going to have, to have a design team. We're not going to have a development team. We're not going to have a secondary dev team. We need the support team to be support and then everything else can basically just be cleared away. Update team is going to be antivirus for this one and prototype software is PandaGuard 2. This can come back to zero, this can go to zero. I'm gonna update and do update tech levels. Update cycle is every month and we're just gonna basically do that forever until it requires no more updates and then untick all of these boxes except for handle support. I'll put this at 50,000, it doesn't actually matter. Actually, I'm just gonna leave that at zero. That'll be fine. That is PandaGuard done. Now what we need to do is we need to sort this out. So. Panda Guard support can just end. We don't need that anymore. Marketing for Panda Guard 1 seems a little bit redundant. It's only making about 14,000 a month, so we can end that. Marketing for Panda Guard 2, we're going to take over that marketing. And support for Panda Guard 2, we will also take over that. And then we'll also be taking over development so that should be good we have our hype that can go back to the top any guard can now be minimized support can go at the top and what else have we got actually support can go under the automation tasks we have marketing we can go back up the top and panda guard 3 development can stay at the bottom our support actually we'll, we'll throw support right up the top that'll be fine and then basically we need to do the same thing for Panda Palette. So I'll go ahead and go through that and back in one more second. And for some reason, it's not letting me take over either of these tasks. And I'm not 100% sure why that is. If I just press play for a second. Yeah, we still can't take over those. But we do have it here though. We have both of them here, so that's fine. That's, I think that's just a visual bug. I might reload the save and see if that fixes itself. So we have, where's our hype? That can go up the top. Press release, a panda palette can come. That's fine where it is. That can be minimized. Marketing for Panda Guard 2 needs a budget on it. We'll say 40,000. And this can be assigned to our marketing team. This can be assigned to our marketing team. This can be assigned to our marketing team. And let me filter so that we don't see the project managements at all. No, because I want to I want to be able to see them. And group them by project. Can that might be easier. Yeah, let no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <laughs> We're gonna leave it open like this. I think that's fine. So we have marketing for Panda Palette can go above Panda Palette. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. That should all be good. Put our support a little bit lower below these hypes. And that's how we're gonna organize that. So in theory, this should all be working now. We just need to assign this to our 2D team. Oh, that's not assigned either. It's marketing. Perfect. 
Now everything should be working and we can actually keep a better eye on what is happening here. We do want to make sure we're printing this. I think we already are. Goal. Yeah, we can cancel that. We already had 100 and something in thousand in stock. That's plenty. I don't think we're going to sell nearly that many copies. But we can go ahead and market and release a press build. This is in beta. I don't know if press builds already been released for this, but if it has, that is what it is. And then we can also, that's fine. We're going to do press releases once we hit the alpha stage for Pantagard 3. So in theory, that should be everything we need to do. We'll bring up our companies down here so we can keep an eye on that. I'm going to sort by founded and I'm actually going to put a filter on products because I don't want to see anyone who doesn't have any products out yet because generally they, well not generally, most of the time they will come out with a product and you will get something from it but occasionally, such as in the case of Sparky Bad, we are losing a ton of money because they have not come out with a product yet. So I think I'm just going to sell them. We've had them for a while and that'll be that. We're also going to come into one poor get ourselves a little bit more of a buffer. We'll sell another 0.2% of this company. I don't like to, but I think we're going to need it. And that'll be that. We now have 1.3 million in the bank. We have about 3 million left in stocks if we need it. That should be just about everything we need to do. The only other thing I want to do is open up the support for Anycard 2 bring that down here. I actually wouldn't mind moving this. I'm going to take off some of these things. I don't need to know how many fans you have. I don't need to know how many patents you have. And I don't need to know chart or products. That'll be fine. Just so we can shrink that down a little bit, clean up our UI just a touch. Just a scotch. That can sit nicely in there. Perfect. That means we can keep an eye on that. How is Pentagon doing? It's doing currently 236,000 in sales. I didn't realize it was doing quite so well. We might actually raise the budget on this to 60,000 just to keep make sure that keeps going the way it is and run the game and see what happens. Make sure everything's working just fine. <laughs> it should be, but you never know. You never know. And yeah, people are gonna be unhappy with their jobs because we fired a whole bunch of people. So for this first month while Chubby Panda is getting trained up, we're gonna have to do this manually, but we'll basically just be giving raises to everyone because <laughs> I don't want them to leave. And that is that. Oh. I also forgot to assign Panda Guard to the antivirus team, so we should probably get on that. And I'll actually assign these guys to marketing and support as well, just so they can be like our secondary dev teams. If marketing or support have nothing to do, they can hop on and work on these. I have some more formal complaints coming in, but that should be all good. Deals for print jobs, 800,000 of those. That'll be fine, still doing fine there. And yeah, let's see how this goes. Once marketing for Panda Palette hype goes down quite low, which is probably going to be tomorrow, we'll go ahead and release Panda Public, Panda Palette to the public and see how that does. In the meantime, we'll be keeping up with deals. We can. And we have a pre-release preview, pre-release review of Panda Palette. Not well known, we know that. We haven't really heard about Panda. It's decent looking at this point and has all the new features. You'll be able to try it in the near future. I don't expect this product to be fantastic just because it did automate all of the other product, all of the other development of this. So we'll have to see. I imagine it'll probably be good at most, but that is what it is. We have been nominated for an award though. And we take out best product with Pandyguard 2. We'll go ahead and throw that down. I believe we already have one in our dev team office, but I feel like Chubby Panda should have his own award. Sure, that'll be that. Burglars that are looking to loot, they get absolutely nothing. Perfect. This is dropping a little bit, so I wouldn't mind 
lowering the marketing spend on this just to maximize our profits to about 40,000. And we had another thing come out that was just the winners. We have some education that we can do. Chubby Panda is back, but we don't need to educate him just yet. We will get Rosa educated a little bit, a little bit more on system for our antivirus team. That should speed up development on that just a touch. Yeah, at the end of the day, we'll go ahead and release Panda Palette to the public and see how that goes. Okay, we'll send out this press release, which I forgot to do, and then we'll actually release Panda Palette to the public tomorrow. <laughs> you always got to watch those press releases, and it is actually the day we are meant to release it, so that's fantastic. Hopefully that gets us a few more followers, maybe we can fix a few more bugs in the meantime. But yeah, don't forget to release your press releases. Show off their product, it sounds great, perfect. Education is still just Chubby Panda, not to worry. Hest Interactive though has come out with a product finally. They have 1.7% of their shares are listed on the market, so we can go ahead and have a look at that real quick. I'm gonna bring this down to about there. Yeah, we can just have the, that's gonna be taken up by something else soon. <laughs> so yeah, we can go ahead and buy these guys. They've brought out a product which is an antivirus, which is not great for us, but it is what it is. We'll spend 6,000 for 1.7% of their company. Hopefully that pays off in the long run. It normally does. If someone's got a product coming out, it normally goes up pretty quickly. And I forgot to release it because I was going too fast. That's fine. We can release Panda Palette right now. And it shouldn't make too much of a difference. The only thing we lose is some followers, but that literally only just started to happen, so we should be fine. Free Trends and Who's Got a Clue both gave us two stars because no one knows who we are. Quality Assistance gave us four. Not great, it delivers, nothing more. That's not fantastic. Marketing campaign is gonna have a budget of zero to start out with, and that's gonna be handled by the marketing team. We don't need to order or print copies for that. So that is released. We now have support for Panda Palette here. We can go ahead and update this to the latest tech with our 2D team. Actually, we can go ahead and set that to all teams just to get it done as fast as we can. Move that right to the top and have that go. Support for Panda Palette can go up to there. And where are we? Marketing for Panda Palette can go right in there. Perfect, we'll let that run for a day. We're not gonna start developing Panda Palette 2 until next month, just to give our teams some time to update and also to port this product if it has anything we want to port it to, which it doesn't. So that's fine, they can go ahead and update that and then get working on the next product tomorrow. We'll go ahead and keep buying shares of Hest Interactive. I think that's probably a good decision. It's so far gone up 67%. We'll release that update. And a palette marketing has begun. Any guard is marketing, perfect, perfect, perfect. We'll also open up the little details panel for Panda Palette so we can see what is happening. And that should be that. Once we get to the end of the day, we'll see how we did. Perfect. New feature unlocked, which is a computer operating system now have 3D rendering. We only sold 35 units and made, I don't know how we have licenses on that already, but we do. Made $4,000, which isn't too bad. The fact that we have licenses already is pretty good. It doesn't say where though. That's an odd thing to have happen right away. But that's fine. We'll go into our releases, go to Panda Palette, and we will start working on a sequel. Panda Palette 2 type is going to be a 2D editor category default. Panda Palette is based on that. We'll go for, do we use an existing framework for that last one? I don't know because it was project managed. Do we have any decent ones? That's, no, they look like they're all old tech levels. So we'll go ahead and develop our own. We'll call this frame palette, just so that we can keep an eye on what is ours. I like to start them off with frames so that we can see it at a glance. Go ahead and add that to, basically, Tiger Flash probably doesn't need to because they've got 2.2 million at the moment. So we can just leave it all on, on Tiger Flash 2. That'll be fine. 
go ahead and analyze our market. They want a little bit more drawing and a little bit less retouching. The only thing that I think, oh no, we can add a little bit more drawing. That's perfect. Can we remove a little bit of retouching though? That is the question. I think all of our retouching is coming from that one thing. So the answer to that is no. This team does want some more designers and some more programmers, but we have some people that do secondary. So I think this will be fine just the way it is. Saying it's gonna take approximately two years, I think it will be a little bit faster than that. And I think that'll be fine. How much does this add? We remove liquify. Still two years. Yeah, I think this is gonna be the way to do it. Go ahead and auto balance. I don't know if that makes a ton of difference since that's just auto balancing the wasted interest, but that is what it is. The design team is going to be, what is this? This is Panda Palette, isn't it? So this is gonna be our 2D team and 2D team. Perfect, I think that's good. Our lead designer, Hazel Mills, looks like she might be okay between 65 to 100%. So we'll leave her on this one and see how that goes. Hopefully she turns out to be at least inspiring, but it maybe looks like she isn't, says ordinary. So maybe we'll have a look. Who can we choose as our lead designer? We'll go for Tanya. She's got 30 to 100%. Maybe that'll work out better. Give it a go. You never know. And then we'll go ahead and develop that. Did I set this to be prototype software no so the thing about doing update only is anytime you release a product you need to come in here and select that product so that it does the updates for you so that should be fine now you're porting yep designing that should be fine porting can come right to the top and i'll have everyone work on that get that done as soon as possible and that should be fine. So yeah, a little bit more micromanagey than we were working on before, but I think it's gonna end up with higher quality products. This one's only good, again, because the project management was doing it from the get-go, but yeah, that is what it is. So, how are we looking? Pantagard 3 is coming along nicely. It is currently on iteration three and about to switch over to iteration four. And that's a lot better, $11,000 in sales. We should also have some licenses there, which only reset every time you press the income, like go off it and come back to it for some reason. I don't know why that is. In terms of this company, we can go ahead and keep buying them for now. And we can also come in and have a look in here. And yes, we are updating Panda Palette, perfect. So that can run without any problems. We're going to continue to spend infinite money on this for the moment. Actually, we might limit it a little bit. We'll limit it to 30,000. Just so they're not bleeding money completely. And that should be fine. And we'll just continue to port things. And we should be good. We're now in iteration four of Panda Guard 3. So once that gets about halfway, we'll go ahead and start developing that. And I think that'll be absolutely fine. Hopefully. If you guys like this new approach, let me know in the comments down below. I always appreciate your feedback. It is always particularly useful. You guys have caught out some major mistakes that I've made in the past. And again, we're getting about $11,000 worth of sales. It is widespread, really don't have any active users, but this is our first release. We have almost no market recognition in the 2D editor space. So I'm not surprised about that in the slightest. We go ahead and pretty much just skip through this day. And with that day done, we are not doing particularly well in sales. So I think I'm gonna drop this budget down to about 5,000, just so we're not spending money on a product that isn't gonna ever take off because it's only good and the creativity is ordinary. I mean, there are better choices on the market, right? But we do have a new category and furniture unlocked being January of 1990. So that unlocks FPS games, 90s computer tower servers, medium product printers, a bunch of furniture, which is fantastic. We'll go ahead and quickly select our entire building. Now, this is a thing that I actually learned recently. I was coming in here and I was right clicking on this computer and I was saying select furniture types in selected rooms and I was selecting everything. I could not figure out for the life of me how to get it to only select the computers. So if you select the entire building, 
Then you shift left click on your computer so that it's selected as well. Then you can go ahead and select furniture types in selected rooms and it will only select the computers. We can then go ahead and replace those with 90s computers for a little bit more processing power. And that's about all we want to do with that for right now. In terms of what we are doing today, we're going to continue marketing Pantagard at $30,000 and Pantagard 3 should be going into development later on today. I think I'll buy one more of these, so we're at 3.7% and then just basically close that out and forget that it exists. For the moment, I think that will be just fine. Hopefully we can get some more licenses going on Panda Palette, that would be fantastic. And I think here is about good. This seems like a good little stopping point. From here on out, it gets pretty slow and we should have pretty decent quality from just this. So we're gonna go ahead and move Panda Guard 3 into development. We're going to check that it's assigned to the right teams, which it is. We don't have any followers, that's fine. We knew that was gonna be the case. Go ahead and mark it and start working on a press release from our marketing team. That will be fine. And we can go ahead and start coding. Once this gets up to about 90%, we'll go ahead and do a review. And yeah, Panda Palette really isn't doing particularly well. I mean, we sort of expected it. It's it's coming to the end of the season. It seems like people like to buy in like January and May. Well, about May is where it generally kicks off. April, May, just after the financial year ends. So we might see a pickup in this soon, but for right now, it's not fantastic. In fact, I might actually just try something. I'm gonna set this to an unlimited budget again, which might be a bad idea, but we're gonna give it a go. Coming into May, right? We're not actually coming into May, but coming into March, April, and May, we'll unlimit that budget and see if this can really take off based on that information. It's more, even more relevant here. You can see May, May, April. That's when the spikes tend to appear. So I don't know why that is. I don't know if that's unique to my saves particularly, but that's what we're going to try. I don't know if it'll work. It might just be bleeding money that we don't actually have to spend, but we'll give it a red hot crack. <laughs> and yeah, we are losing money on Panda Palette. That's fine. We expected that. Our marketing team is having a nice little meeting. Our meeting room is finally being used. And then at the end of today, we can go ahead and hit a review. We only have 40% of the art, but I think that's fine. Go ahead and get that review done and see how we did. 7.9 out of 10 is not too bad. We'd like that to be above 9.5 to get outstanding or whatever the, the highest level is. Well, that's a good point too. Someone did mention that I should in fact build myself some bike parking. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but that does also mean we need to do some more things here. Namely, we need to get some showers in. So the people that come to work on their bikes aren't completely smelly. <laughs> and these toilet roll holders are particularly hard to grab, but that's fine. I think two showers in each of these bathrooms should be fine to start with. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that'll just mean that people can bike to work instead of taking the bus. Obviously 16 bike spots is a lot more than the cars. Also, excitingly, we got some more licensing coming in for Panda Palette. So that is always welcome. I just want to check these. We are indeed updating, I believe. We must be, because these have like no bugs. So that is looking good. Our press release is almost done for Panda Guard 3, which is fantastic. And the design on Panda Palette 2 is a little bit slow, but it's a bigger program, so that's to be expected. Uh, with another day done and 98% of our code finished, we'll go ahead and hit another review just to check that out. And we have 9.1. I would like to iterate one more time just to get that up again to above 9.5. Uh, Hopefully we have the time for it before we go broke. We do still have 3 million in stocks, so we should be okay, but that is what it is. Let's go ahead and see if we can accept all of these jobs. If we lower the priority of both of these, maybe. There we go. 
should be able to complete all three of them. We just need to make sure that we don't take any more because that would be bad. But with this almost done, we can go ahead and market this. We'll announce our release date, which is going to be a year and four months from the day it is today. So it is April, one, two, three, four, August of 1991. Just check that this says one year and four months. That is our marketing window in impossible mode. So we'll go ahead and say yes. Then we can go and release a press release, which is going to give us plus 90, 96% followers. It's fantastic. The art should be finished tomorrow. And then we can go ahead and get a press build out. All right, so that's not good. We are currently in debt. So we need to come in here and sell a few more shares. I'm going to keep Hest for now. Well, okay. Well, that is what it is. I didn't mean to sell all of them. I meant to open the details, but that's fine. We now have a bit of a buffer. I don't think they were making us a lot of money at that point anymore anyway. But with that extra money, we can now come in here and Ligar Digital just put out a product. They are releasing Office software. They're 92% inspiring, so they shouldn't do too badly. They've got 1.6% listed for 12,500. We'll go ahead and buy that, see how that does. And yeah, Pentagon 3 should be going into beta today soon as that art all gets finished, which it is. We'll go ahead and set a print job for that, limit that to 50,000 copies, and make sure that that didn't ruin everything else. It did. Let's lower that all the way. No, I kind of want that just to happen first. It should only take a second. There we go, and everything else should be fine. We've now got 50,000 copies of Pandaguard 3 in stock. We go ahead and mark it and send out a press build for that. As well as we can try and do another. No, I don't think the other press release is worth doing. We'll leave it there. Fix a whole bunch of bugs basically until this number drops to practically zero. Okay. We are cleared of debt, which is fantastic. We have another deal here. We're going to reject that for the moment just because we have three jobs already. We have a pre-release review of Pandaguard 3. Target demographic doesn't really know about us. That's fine. We haven't really heard about it. That's fine. Looks amazing and has all the new features. It won't be out for a while. That's absolutely fine. Sun Clark has a little bit of education that he can get. We'll go ahead and educate him in systems for our antivirus team. That will be perfectly acceptable. And do we need to do anything else for this? I don't believe so. We're just gonna wait for this number to basically drop to zero, and then we can go ahead and release it. We already have 170, 000, uh, 170 followers, which is good news. Hopefully it does a little bit better than Pentagon 2 did. We should probably also check on our marketing budgets. This is still set to 30,000. I don't think that is necessary. We'll set this to 10,000. And Panda Pallet, how's it doing? It is now May and we didn't see the spike that we wanted. So we'll go ahead and reduce this back down to say 10 grand. I think that'll be fine. It'll still technically be making a profit just based on all of these licenses that we have. So perfect. I'll just basically skip ahead until something interesting happens. Okay, and our bug fixes have slowed down significantly. So today is the day with 3.1% follow again. Today is the day we release Pandaguard 3 to the market. Go ahead, release that. Let's see how we did. Great quality, five stars. Wildcard, they still don't know who we are, but five stars on the bleeding wedge as well. Marketing team is gonna have an unlimited budget for the moment. We don't need to print or order copies. Done and done. Go ahead and open up our details panel. We finally have an outstanding product with inspiring creativity. That should hopefully help us sell this a little bit better. Uh, just before I get into anything else, this has gone up to a price where we can't really afford it anymore. So we're gonna head and close that, stop investing in there. We also did have a little bit of a spike in Panda Palette, which is exciting to see. So, marketing for Pandaguard 3 can be our new top priority for marketing. Support for Pandaguard 3 can come up 
to the top as well. We'll go ahead and update that to the latest tech using Panda Palette as our editor. We'll be on all the teams. We'll move that to the very top and see if we need to port this to anything. We do, we can port this to Tiger Flash and that's about it. Set that to top priority, have that under the update and that will be that. We now have Panda Guard 3 on the market. Again, we're gonna wait till the next month to start working on Panda Guard 4 so they can get these updates and ports out as soon as possible. Updates actually taking quite a long time. But that is finished. We are now porting to Tiger Flash. That should finish in just a second. Hopefully we get it done today and we don't. But that is what it is. All right, how'd we do? $51,000 doesn't seem like the greatest amount of sales. We have prominent marketing. Hopefully this takes off a little bit more. I would like to see that. But that is sort of just is what it is for the moment, I suppose. We also do need to come in here and make sure we have Pentagon 3 set up on our automation. Can't forget to do that. But because we forgot, I'll go ahead and update this manually. And then we can come into our releases, Pantagard 3, and start working on our next sequel, which will be, of course, Pantagard 4. We'll probably go ahead and use that existing framework that we made last time. And we will use Panda Palette to work on that. Perfect. And we basically want these two. Tiger Flash 1 doesn't seem like it's going to be necessary. Go ahead and reanalyze the market. They want way less monitoring, which is fine. We can absolutely do that. I also want these tech levels to be at the top that they can be. Less monitoring, please. That removes all of our active protection, but we can add that back in later on. We actually can't get networking just yet because it's not supported by the operating systems. So we'll go ahead and add that back in. Active protection, anything else that adds active protection? No, that is as good as we can do. It's gonna take less than a year. We've got more than enough people to do it. Go ahead and auto balance that. Should be absolutely fine. That is our antivirus team, please. That is our antivirus team. Our lead designer is Chubby Panda, and we can go ahead and develop that. This update up at the top so we don't lose it. And see how we go once all our updates and ports are all finished. Get that update out to the world. We've got a couple more deals that we can take here. We are still working on these, which is surprising. So we're going to not take these deals because I don't want to lose any of them. We only just got our stars back. A little bit of education for Carla on our antivirus team. Again, she can take system, increase the speed of that. And that's basically it for today, I think. I'm going to keep the unlimited budget for Pandagard 3 for the moment just to get as much hype around that product as we can. And let's see how we did. That's better, $157,000. That is a lot better. We still aren't quite making money, but we are getting close. And I think this product should just continue to increase in sales, hopefully, unless anything bad happens because of the fact that we have an actually outstanding piece of technology for the market. So that is good. I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button and leave a comment for the sake of engagement. It really helps out the channel. But until next time, happy building and happy developing. Bye guys.